Hello folks, my name is Mark, this is Why I Hate the World, how are you guys doing? So last week I made a video in response to the shooting in Jacksonville, Florida, and somebody left a response with a very famous little bit of conservative gun nut copy pasta, which um, was funny because that was one of the things I was going to respond to in the first place when I was making that video. Originally that video was going to be a response to this little bit of copy pasta that I see all over the place. And then the shooting happened, so I made it about the shooting. And then somebody responds with this little thing that I was gonna to respond to in the first place. So I thought that was kind of funny. So anyway, this is basically what the original video would, would have been. And it was in response to this. So let's read it out. Tech Zen Master, one week ago. Let's do some math using CDC numbers. 32,000 gun deaths last year. 60% are suicide, 19,200. 3% are accidents, 960. 4% are justified, 1,280. Thousands of instances of firearm self-defense occur annually. Most go unreported. 33% are homicides, 10,560. But 80% of homicides are gang-related, 8,448. That leaves 1,712 people in a country with a population of 325 million people. You have a... 0.00003% chance of death by a firearm, but if you're not part of a gang, don't commit a crime, or don't plan on committing suicide, you actually have a 0.00005% chance of death by a firearm in this country. Guns are not the problem. So usually when you see little bits of copypasta like this, they're most of the time, 90% of the time, complete and total bullshit. You know, you'll see a lot of this coming out of, from conservatives especially, you know, on Facebook and stuff like that, you know, talking about crime stats when it comes to race and race and IQ and crap like that, right? This particular one, I give it a 50-50 about how accurate it is. So the numbers are not from 2017, they're actually from 2016, but I've seen this posted on the internet um, way before that. I was only able to find... Uh, a Reddit post that was dated 2014 that had elements of this, but I think, in fact, I'm pretty sure that I've seen it on there even before that. And it looks like whoever it is that reposts this stuff kind of takes it and then updates the numbers to the current year and then posts it, right? So now the number of uh, gun deaths, 32,000, that's pretty close to what it actually was in 2016. Uh, the real number is 33,000. 942 people in the country were killed in 2016 with firearms, right? And they say 60% were suicides. That's pretty close too, but it was actually higher than the 19,000 that the guy said. It was really 22,938 suicides in the country, right? Which is a lot. Keep in mind, these are only suicides with firearms, right? So that's a lot. Um, but it's, it's higher than what they said here. Now, if you notice, those numbers are nudged a little bit to be a little lower than th what the true numbers are, right? We'll come back to that in a minute. Okay, so now he talks about justified homicides. Now, what is a justified homicide? Well, that's when you use a gun in self-defense, you know. Someone breaks into your house, someone's raping your, you know, wife or your husband or something or whatever, they're assaulting you, they're going to kill you, you pull out your gun and you kill them. Okay, in self-defense, and these are instances where it's been determined by the police that you are not at fault, you're using your gun legally to defend yourself, right? He says 1,280, right? Not even close. <laughs> the real number is 711, okay? So you notice that the number they said is double what the real number is. They nudged it way up, right? Now, there's two, there's two categories there. The first category is justified by cop. So cop shoots you because you're running away or committing a crime, something like that. The other one is justifiable by private citizen, right? Which is where a private citizen defending themselves. So justified by cop, 435. We know that number is actually higher, right? We know that there's more police shootings in the country because a lot of the police departments around the country and a lot of the sheriff offices don't even report those numbers, right? Um, there is no 
uniform reporting mechanism for that. So this is, but this is what the FBI has. I got these, I got these numbers from the FBI here. Right. And I'll put all the links to all this stuff down in the little things so you guys can read along. 435. We know that number's low. But this number, justifiable by private citizen, 276. I think that's a little bit more accurate, and I'll tell you why. Number one, if you shoot someone in self-defense, there's no reason for you not to report it. See, the, the little, the copypasta says, okay, there's thousands of instances of people defending themselves with firearms that goes unreported. Not when you kill someone. You know, if you kill someone, that's a crime, right? And unless it's self-defense, your ass is going to jail, right? You can't shoot someone even if it's in self-defense and not report it. That's a crime. If you kill someone in self-defense, it's in your best interest as a person, as a citizen, to report that and clear your name, right? So that number, I think, is probably very, very accurate, okay? The other thing that he's talking about, you know, thousands of instances of people defending themselves, that's what he's what he's talking about is people using a gun to defend themselves where it does not result in a fatality right and well what does that mean you know a guy's fucking with you you pull out your gun he walks away right a dude comes up he's men looking menacing he's trying to get in your car you pull your gun out the dude bails runs away whatever someone tries to break in your house you pull your gun out you point it at him he runs away okay i could i could see how some people wouldn't report that they might think nothing of it you know, they might go, oh, you know, it'd probably be the same. And so, to some people, it might be the same as just getting in a fist fight or whatever. And you don't report it. Others oh, no need to. But I think most of the time people do. Now, someone tried to rob you. Someone tried to assault you. Why would you not report that to the cops? <laughs> right? It doesn't make any sense to me, you know. But the thing is, is that if it's not reported, we have no way of knowing what that number actually is. It could be thousands, it could be hundreds, it could be dozens, we don't know, right? But what is relevant, so that's not, that's re that's irrelevant to the conversation. What is relevant is how many people, how many resulted in fatalities that were reported, which I think is a pretty accurate number. Now, if you look at this, they nudged the number, the totals numbers down, right? They nudged the other numbers up, <laughs> okay? The number of justified fatalities, they, they nudge that up, right? The number of total fatalities, they nudge that down. And it's just a subtle way of, of misinterpreting data to fit your narrative. There's one little bit, last bit here, 80% are because of gang related homicides, right? I can't verify that one way or the other. I looked, I can't really see anywhere where it says how many fatalities, gun fatalities in the country are the result of gang-related crime. What I could find was actually a Huffington Post article. Well, actually, I found a Reddit post where somebody posted the same thing. And then somebody else in there said that 80% number is actually from a Huffington Post article, and they were talking about Chicago. Okay, 80% of the homicides in Chicago are gang-related. Uh, Gun-related gun homicides in Chicago are gang-related, right? not the nation, Chicago. So it looks like whoever wrote this little bit of, you know, conservative copy pasta here. Um, am I pronouncing that right? Copy pasta, copy pasta? I don't even know. And it's not a word that you use in normal conversation, but I'm going to say a copy pasta. Somebody, whoever wrote this, found that number and applied it to the entire nation. Okay. Because it's not there in the FBI website that I could find. It's not in the CDC website that I can find. It's not anywhere. <laughs> All right. And so that I think we can just throw out the fucking window, really, unless somebody out there has, has a, a reliable source on that. I think we can toss that out. And if you want a fair comparison, we should be comparing it to other countries, <laughs> right, out there. And seeing how they, how many, like, you know, homicide, how many gun homicides they have, right? Because they said, you know, that's, this is what it says, right? Guns are not the problem, right? Basically telling us, trying to convince us that guns are not a problem in our country. Well, let's look at other countries and let's see how much of a problem they are there, okay? So this is from a spreadsheet that I got from the World Firearms Murder and Ownership, right? Um website and I'll put the link to this down there. It's a Google Doc 
and this dock it looks like it's updated every five minutes and as far as I can tell these numbers are from the current year so this is the number of people who are have been killed by firearms you know homicides by firearms in various countries around the world this is what is we're seeing in the rest of the country Ger or the rest of the world right Germany 158 Canada 173 Netherlands 55 England and Wales 41 Greece 29 Finland 24 France 35 Switzerland 57 Australia 30 Japan 11 United States so far this year 9146 <laughs> okay the year's not even over I mean there's no comparison Australia 30 United States 9146 <laughs> guns are not a problem here are you fucking kidding no man guns are not a problem in Australia they're not a problem in Switzerland in Japan in France <laughs> right they're a fucking problem here I'm not even comparing the rate of death by firearms you know that's a completely different subject rest assured the United States is near the top there as well now of course we're not the number one when it comes to um, firearm deaths that seems to be Brazil that actually had 34,000 678 okay um, below that is Colombia 12,539 um, South Africa 8,319 Venezuela 11,115 and the Philippines 70 uh, 7,349 those were like the top five with the United States being right in there <laughs> right so we're not the worst in the entire country but look at those look at those places Colombia Brazil South Africa right those are extremely dangerous places to live where criminal gangs basically run the show right where drug cartels will fucking murder your entire family right the Philippines has like a major drug problem also South Africa is like incredibly lawless right Venezuela right now is in the middle of like a major crisis okay I mean are you are you joking like this is this is where the United States ranks with the rest of the world right if you look at one other thing though those countries I just named Colombia Brazil Philippines Venezuela those places have a gun culture which is comparable to the United States a lot of people don't know that see up here in America people don't give a shit about the rest of the world right and a lot of the conservatives that post and copy and paste this particular thing they don't know about Venezuela they don't know that it's legal to own firearms in Venezuela and that they have a gun culture just like us and many people open carry in Venezuela they don't know any they don't know any of that shit right they think that it's just like the wild west down there that it's like Mad Max and stuff, you know, because fucking that's what Donald Trump tells them, you know, Trump's shithole countries. That's what they see on Fox News about how, like, people are eating rats and shit in Venezuela, right? They don't know that it's like basically the exact same fucking place thing is here, <laughs> right? It's like a, a developed country that had millions of dollars in the past of, of oil wealth flowing through there, and, and it has comparable rates of... Um, firearm ownership <laughs> that the United States does right it's it's ridiculous it's like all of these places where the body counts are incredibly high are places where guns are legal this is where the United States stands and here's the thing it doesn't have to okay Canada has a gun culture like us Australia has a gun culture like us right they don't you know Switzerland has a gun culture okay what's the difference between those countries and ours it's because they have common sense gun control in those countries they have limits on ownership they have they have um, waiting periods and background checks and limits on the number of you know rounds your magazine can hold and and bans on bunk uh, on bump stocks and all the shit that all the the NRA people and the second amendment people and all those guys fight tooth and nail to stop they have that in all of these other countries right and as a result, you're less likely to die in those countries from a firearm than you are here. Okay, that's the simple fucking fact, all right? So when people tell you, you know, whenever there's a mass shooting, whenever somebody flips their fucking lid, goes out and blows 17 people away in a movie theater or something like that, and they tell you there's nothing we can do about it, that's a lie. There is something we can do about it, right? 
there are measures we can take that will preserve the Second Amendment and make it so you can still buy a gun, but it will put limits on shit like that happening, <laughs> right? What limits on the ability of criminals and crazy people to get their hands on firearms, we can have our cake and eat it too. And we're not doing it because of Republicans, because they're in denial that it's even a problem, right? And they go around and they post bullshit like this on my fucking comment section to circle jerk themselves into thinking that it's not a problem when in real life it is. And that's why people die in the United States of, of you know, people get shot in mass shootings in the United States because of Republicans. Anyway, that's all I got, folks. Adios.